morning and welcome to my Thursday. I am much perkier today, you may notice. It would turn out that I've got a bit of a late start because I didn't set my alarm, but the good news is I've had a good eight hours sleep. This is the first time this has happened in a week and a half and I am very pleased. I don't have any plans to go anywhere. It's a bit of a dull gray looking day at the moment. I'm hoping to go out somewhere tomorrow. I would love to go out on a jaunt somewhere at least once a week and go and vlog it. I've got that parcel there waiting to be collected sometime after half past 11. I've got quite a big window of time so I'm not quite sure when it's coming. Oh morning Santas, this is one of the first thing I see when I pull the blind up, you know, and it gets light enough. <laughs> They're surviving, there's been no caving. These can be eaten on Christmas Eve. Cause you know, Christmas day, there's so much gluttony available. So Christmas Eve, the Santas go. We don't normally have them that big for our Christmas Eve chocolate Santa things though. To be fair, they're normally like that big or, I don't know, like a Smarties penguin or a polar bear or something, but no, not this year. Do you know what the very great irony is about me getting my first really good night's sleep in a week and a half? Well, yesterday was the first day really that I had almost a normal level of caffeine. In fact, above my normal level of caffeine because I was at IB's and he's got a coffee machine and all the pods were just fully caffeinated. So I was just like, it's only one day and sunk out like a light <laughs> but that said I do think a cup of fully caffeinated coffee can make you tired because although it makes you go boing at first it's like it uses up all your energy really quickly and then leaves you more tired afterwards this is what I think so maybe I do need to have some caffeine in my life I don't know that's wishful thinking isn't it I like caffeine it's just not very good for me. Well, there's my first one of the day made. I've just had a swig and it's absolutely delicious. The first swig of the coffee of the day is always the best, I think. It's actually decaf because it was left over in that part from yesterday. So I've just warmed it through better than nothing. Saves the effort of making it. It's about 10 past 11 now and that vlog is exporting. I'm gonna try some of this, which I haven't tried before, I don't think. I don't know how much to have. Not much, maybe. I've been affected recently by a really poor appetite, which sounds great, like, yay, what's not to love? You lose a bit of weight, and I have. I've lost, I don't know, five pounds, six pounds, something like that, since having that infection. But my appetite's not back, but it's not great because, well, I think maybe that's one of the reasons I just haven't been able to sleep most nights. Because last night I got my appetite back and I had a bit of a pig out right before bed, although, unfortunately, I pigged out on crisps and uh, cheese, so probably, you know, wasn't the healthiest, but I did have a really good night's sleep and I didn't lie awake for hours feeling uncomfortable. But anyway, yeah, what's been happening is I have been, like my stomach's been growling with hunger, but I haven't felt hungry, but I've been getting, you know, all the usual jitters and lightheaded and feel like my legs are going wobbly and stuff and not being able to focus very well because I'm hungry, but then I try to eat and it's just like, I don't know, it doesn't want to go in. So I've had a banana this morning actually, but I got halfway through and I was struggling with it and it was super ripe and everything. It wasn't like it was actually hard to chew or anything. So it should just slip down. So hopefully this will just slip down. Hopefully this milk is in date. 19th of November, yes, I think it is. This was from our gal pals meet the other day when they came over, one of them has cow's milk. So I bought some real milk. So I'm gonna put that on here now. I haven't had this since I was a kid and went well. When I did it was like ready brek rather than shop zone, if you know what I mean. I'm just gonna have it cold. I can't bear the idea of this hot. Will it stir in cold? It should do, shouldn't it? I think it needs more milk. I like it really, really runny. And well, when I was a kid with gritty bits of sugar in it as well, which don't dissolve at that temperature, but I don't know if adult me is gonna go for that. I have him perched on top of Izzy's Rice Krispies box, right, I'm gonna taste it. I'm glad I didn't put sugar in it, it's really sweet. I'll work my way through it. I think it might be long COVID, because apparently I googled one of the long COVID symptoms. What of the many? It's a loss of appetite, I'm going. Well, I gave it my best shot, I've managed that much. I'll come back to it and just have spoonfuls as I go about my day, I think. I'm putting a wash load on now, darks today. I'm thinking I might combine my daily exercise -y walk with going to Asda's later, because I walk to Asda's and back, it's quite a long way. Um, I've just got a few little sort of obscure bits like Tabasco sauce and, oh, things like that. Hello, it's half past 12. I've just been getting hot and bothered up at the laptop about theatre tickets, which I bought for Izzy's birthday like two years ago and then the pandemic happened, so they just transferred the dates. And 
apparently they transferred the dates again and it's like this week and I don't know if like I've gone into my account on this thing it says I have nothing coming up so whether they've gone and we've lost a hundred quids worth of tickets and not getting a refund I don't know but I think that is quite likely but it just so happens that Izzy is going there today to see the very same show <laughs> with a friend who had somebody drop out so she bought his ticket off him so she's actually going there she said right I'll go and ask at the desk for you ma'am <laughs> leave it with me oh I'd be so good if we've lost a hundred quid but the thing is the email that we had was like mostly in Welsh this is what happens in Wales quite often the whole like loads and loads and loads of bits in Welsh you've got to scroll 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 to get to the English and so that's what the case was with this I don't know if I even saw it at the time actually no I probably didn't because it was marked as unread the thing is when it's like a theatre they have mailing lists and they send you out loads and loads of round robin emails all the time and you don't open them like I don't I'm just like you know I've got things I need to reply to I've only got a limited amount of time so I'll only do the important ones so that's probably what happened I don't think I even opened it a <sighs> hundred quid oh really oh well I suppose in the I'm just trying to think of all the hardships that people have had in the pandemic and really a hundred quid although yeah it's a lot of money to me <laughs> compared to what most people have gone through it's not much, so I should just not moan about it really, shouldn't I? If it's gone, it's gone, but I'll be so gutted. It was like buried right at the bottom of this email, a tiny little thing. If you can't make it, click here. Small print, small print. Oh. Anyway, let's see what Izzy comes up with today. I think we've missed it. I think it must have been the last couple of days, but I'm sure that we booked the last day. Oh, did we? No, I'm confusing it with something else. Don't listen to me, I'm talking rubbish. Anyway, to try and defog my annoyed brain now. I'm gonna deal with my kitchen mess, get that out and in the cupboards and that in there and maybe washing if there's enough. Initially, when I bought those five tickets, um, Izzy was under 16, so she wouldn't have been able to go without accompanying adults. So me and IB were gonna sort of go with her and then she was gonna take some friends as well. You see, that's what that was all about. But now she could have just gone with four friends and they could have thoroughly enjoyed themselves, but oh well, it'll be what it'll be, won't it? Oh, and in other news, I've been calling a guy engineer because do you know I didn't get that checked last year because of the pandemic so it's well overdue so I'm gonna have that antiquated ancient boiler examined shortly he's gonna call me back oh there we are I have just about filled it at least something going right today <laughs> whatever fell as long as it's not obstructing that we're all right and it's not okay time to hang the clothes out that's hung out now and I'm back on the cold ready break Mm, going down a bit better now. I am back at my desk and I'm not going to be silly about the tickets thing. It'll be what it'll be. I'm very fortunate. I have food to eat and a roof over my head. And I've got some fizzy water to drink because I so do not want to get any more urine infections. I've finished my antibiotics now. I've been finished a few days and fingers crossed. We're doing okay. I'm not 100% sure it's completely gone. This is always the way it is. So I just, I'm just waiting for it to come back. So water. Right, my next things on my list are to do with emails. I need to respond to two specific emails. And I also need to make an invoice for my boyfriend. Or oh, another thing I need to do, add some receipts to my books. Which is, I stand says, I can't show you, but I bought a new lead. So I need to put that in as an expense for my musical work. Right, and then I'm not gonna look at the rest of the list until I've done that, because it gets overwhelming then, doesn't it, if you keep looking too far ahead. I looked at the list, and I found that I need to make a phone call, it's a priority, it's to do with Izzy's vaccine. I need to ring them up and find out what's what exactly. But she's had the go ahead to go on the list, so we're almost there. This <laughs> is not going smoothly. First of all, I was halfway through ringing and then there was a huge knock on the door and it was the man collecting the parcel. So that's gone. Um, and then I started ringing it again and I just suddenly thought, oh, I've got to read all Izzy's literature that's come from the hospital about the new meds she's going on. So I thought, right, I'll just quickly write that down on the diary while they're going through the menus and everything. <laughs> and, um, and then I heard it saying, you may now end the call. Goodbye. Boom. I thought, oh no, <laughs> I should have listened. <laughs> so I'm going to try them again. Uh, they've done it again. So it seems like every um, 
button that you press on it is actually a dead end. Oh, that's a bit awkward. You see, they keep directing me to a website for more information, but I need specific information about my specific human being that I'm responsible for, <laughs> whether she can go as a walk-up or if she's going to get a letter and I just need to check that she is actually on the list to get a letter if that's the case. I've got another number I can ring. I'll try that one. Provide answers to clinical queries relating to the vaccine and click on vaccine to access the latest news and updates on our COVID-19 vaccine programme, including a list of frequently asked questions which may provide an answer to your question. If you have already visited this site and we have still not answered your question, please hold to be put through to a member of the Vaccine Advice Line team. Thank you for contacting the Vaccine Advice Line. You will now be put through to a member of our team. Please note that your call may be recorded for training and monitoring purposes. Thank you. Okay, she's not been put in the other category. She's still on just normal civilian category. It's uh, put a request in. I might get a call back. If not, try again in a week. <laughs> oh, thing is, every time you ring somebody, that's the first time you're speaking to them, and they don't really have any memory of how you've got to this stage. <laughs> and it's like starting from absolute zero every time. To be honest, it won't be much longer that she won't be on this medication anymore. And I don't think she'll be in the higher risk category. Well, it's a moderate risk category. I don't think she'll be in that after about another three, three weeks because she should be switching medications. But then there might be a delay, we don't know. But at the same time, incoming, there's being a change to the regulation guideline thingies that they will be allowing 16 year olds to have the jab. So that might even come in before I get her finally approved for it. So we'll just have to see which will win. Okay, now I'm gonna do my emails. I'm having to give some opinions on some artwork for band publicity stuff. At the moment, that's what this is. Ooh. I just sent my feedback in video form, literally filming the screen, pointing things out, saying, oh, I think this is more readable than that, and that sort of thing. Uh, much quicker and easier than writing it all down. Loving this modern era for that. The emails are done. Uh, invoice next. I'm tempted to get a cup of tea on the go, mind, and bring it up. Time to shut the windows now. It's getting really cold in here. I do try to air the place every morning after I get up, but it really is starting to get cold. But I'll have condensation build up and uh, mould growing if I don't. I found coffee left in my pot, decaf. So that's cheered me up. Right, I'm gonna do this invoice now and then I think I probably need to stop and have a lunch break or I'm not hungry. It's about 20 past two, I've made the invoice, haven't sent it yet, I was about to attach it and my phone rang and it's Izzy. She is so much more assertive than me. If I have any kind of, you know, complaint to make or confrontation or anything, I'm just like super apologetic and cowering all the time. Like, oh, it must be my mistake. Anyway, she's marched in <laughs> to the theatre, explained the situation and the outcome is she's got two tickets allocated for a show tonight and the person that she's already with today seeing a show already is more than happy to go to that with her tonight, but it's too short notice to get anybody else. But she's got the rest put back into my account as credit. So I said, well done, so that's your credit now. So she's got 60 quid's worth of credit to put towards future tickets to go with hopefully two friends, hopefully. Unless the price has gone up, but I'll top her up if the price has gone up because that was her birthday present, but it's getting used and it's gonna be enjoyed hopefully. So yay. Right, I better send this invoice. <laughs> Oops, putting the wrong number in. 1495. Correct debit. It's dark in here, it looks lighter on the camera than it does in real life actually. Anyway, that's all my receipts and expenses logged, going in my receipts box. <laughs> receipts, yes, very um, professional looking. That's when they go in when they're not logged. When they are logged, I put them there. It does say YouTube on it, but it's not just YouTube. It's now that I'm gigging again, it's music receipts as well. and stuff to do with filing as well if i've got travel related expenses that kind of thing missed a couple has the werewolf costume going in there it's five past three now i definitely need to try and eat something i did finish that bowl off like every so often when i was down here i just had another mouthful so i did eat it all in the end it's fortified thankfully with about a gazillion vitamins and minerals and things so that's kind of reassuring but anyway in the fridge uh 
there is a whole pan, well, it's not that much, as a serving of my non-chilli chilli and it's been refrigerated ever since and I'm sure it'll be all right, especially if I heat it very thoroughly. Yes, and I'm gonna add loads of spinach to that as well. So here's my lunch and um, hopefully I can get through it. When I've eaten that, I've decided I'm not gonna film it, but I'm gonna go and do a very burpy slurpee because it's straight after dinner, flute practice, and then I'm gonna go to Asda. So I'll pick you up again at Asda. Well, I've been in here for a while, as you can see. They had three rolls, four meter rolls of wrap and paper for three pounds. As you can see, I bought some tomatoes, bananas, courgette, peppers, mushrooms, and some veggie mints, and a couple of, like the one, I think they're about one pound 20, 125, something like that, ready meals. I mean, it's emergency meals to go in the fridge. I'm at the meat-free bit now, but I don't think I need anything right at the moment. Oh, now Izzy always loves these, so I'll just pick one up while I'm here. They keep for ages, don't they, in the fridge? Oh, do you know what? We haven't had these for years. It's creamy desserts for £1.15. Be a surprise for Izzy when she gets back for the weekend, wouldn't it? Ugh. Whole grain rice cakes. I just grabbed some reduced to clear yogurts as well. 40p for that. And those were 21. 49 pence for a jar of black olives. We've actually come in for kickham and soy sauce, but we've only got the less salt version, but let's give it a go. I'm looking for Tabasco sauce too. It's something I can never find. Coconut milk was on my list. This is 82 pence for this one. Nice and coffee actually, with a bit of soy milk as well. They actually have coconut cream. Oh, I bet that's lovely. 135. Found it, £2.10. Ah, oh, this is something I haven't had for absolutely years. Crisp breads, you know, like cracker bread. That might slip down easily if I'm struggling to eat. Oh, I've got some more of those, as he loves them. And some Fanta. I feel like I need to get at least one more Christmas item for my Christmas corner, and I'm looking around, I just can't see anything that looks special unless it's like special price, do you know what I mean? I think I might be just better off going to B&M or something. But I'm keeping my eyes peeled anyway. But things like crackers, we really just like cheddars, really. Ah, now I did want to get some cooking chocolate because I bought us some um, Rice Krispies. Oh, and I want lemon juice as well, perfect. That's on my list, 39p for that. And the cooking chocolate was 65. I need washing detergent. I'm overwhelmed by choice. Shop zone, Imo, shop zone, non-bio, £2.59. 20 is that expensive it's a lot cheaper than the fairy there's only 15 in there as well for four pound as does it is i think that's about all i need i've come to have a look at the christmas stocking filler section because it was crowded with people when i first came in just not really looking for presents but you know for our special corner oh now i wish Licorice all sorts were vegetarian, but they're not, and neither are jelly babies. Otherwise, I'd be very tempted to get that. Advent calendars, don't need those. Oh, they've got a Ferrero Rocher. Oh, 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 is that a box of them? Oh, it's, it is an advent calendar. Look, 10 quid. Oh, blimey. Oh, look at that one there, £9.50. <laughs> the lint teddy poking out of Christmas Eve. Dairy milk, Freddo and friends in a tin. Cute little tin. Will I choose anything though? That's the question. Mm. I've made my selection, but whether I can actually reach them, I don't know. I can't see. I'm using the monitor to see. Oh, here we are. Yay. <laughs> now, if Isabel touches these before Christmas, she's in trouble. Right, I'd better go to the checkout before I spend any more money. Well, speak about contrary, but I put that back because I thought there's a lot of plastic in there. Really, that's too wasteful. So then I spotted the Turkish Thins for one pound. And I thought, well, that's better value. And they've got mint ones as well. So I'll get one of each. That's what I'll do. Can't get it. There, that's a bit cheaper. Now I'm going to the checkout. Well, considering I was only going because I needed a bit of exercise, I've got quite a lot of shopping in there. <laughs> oh dear, right, in you go. More stuff for the special Christmas corner. Where are the other ones? In there somewhere. I've spied them. They're here. 
There we are. <laughs> that ended up taking me two hours. I was just forgetting that it was dark. See, normally I do a little bit of a shortcut through a wooded area, but it is passable with wheels, so it's okay for the trolley, but I got to it and it was absolutely pitch black. And then I thought, I'll use my torch on my phone. And I thought, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back a different way. So I went back a different way and it was very much longer. So I had a lot more exercise than I expected. <sighs> I think I've done enough vlogging for today, but if you've enjoyed this one, could you please give it a little like? It really helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.